Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Simon. This is Brett. Hello and this. It's cigarette and he's waving and he was about to punch him. No, it wasn't. He was. Nope. He's going to go back to waving and that's the going to get revenge. <laughs> Sounds more like he's been eating sprouts. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if you've been watching our channel, which I hope you have, then you would have seen about two videos ago, we looked at a Back to the Future Part 3 DeLorean. Now today, I thought we'd have a look at another model of a DeLorean, but I picked this up, I think, in the mid to late 1990s. Now I went to a car museum, and on your way out you have to go through the gift shop, and I found this model, and it caught my eye, and I bought it straight away. Now I wish the... Uh, the price sticker stayed on, but recently it must have fell off because you can see where it used to be. How much was it? I don't know. That's why I said I wish the price sticker was still on there. But here it is. A it's mystery a feeling we never know. It's a 1981 DeLorean LK Hang made on. by a company called Sunstar. Here's what? something. You may be able to find out the price. All you have to do is put a lot of equipment on there and then drive it on a sand mile and have of sand amount of electricity. And then you go to the past and then work out how much it costs. Two problems with that. Well, number one, the film is fiction, which means you can't really do it. And number two, if I put all the equipment on this car, <laughs> my toe could go back to the future. <laughs> so or could go back. back to the past. <laughs> and then back to the future. He's confused. Except for I don't think my toe will be able to drive. <laughs> Super Bear. Super Bear. All he does is drive me crazy. Oh. Anyway. Boop, boop. <laughs> so, it's a nice model. I've had it on my shelf, like, for over 20 years. And I look at it periodically, but I've never remembered mm. opening the box up fully. So we're going to do that today. And there's a lot of detail to the box as well. Like, it's this um, kind of, like a grey colour, isn't it? But kind of a darkish kind of grey. Yeah, it's more like... What? A greyish gold. Yeah, it's kind of a strange kind of grey, especially up here. But you've got a lot of pictures on it, and then on the back, there's a lot of writing about DeLorean and the DeLorean Motor Company and stuff itself. And back to the Future. Well, no, that's um, I think that says on the back. It says uh, complete your collection with the Back to the Future DeLorean. So I think Sunstar must have done a model of. Uh, of the Back to the Future DeLorean yeah, it's just as well. just this one with equipment on the back like I suggested. Well, yeah. That's the only difference. Wait, is it the exact colour? Right. So what I'm going to do is... Try and find out where... I'm going to open this color. up. Because there's nothing on the bottom. This was made in China. So I'm going to open this up and then I might even read what's on the back and we'll have a good detailed look. Now I won't do this without messing up the box in any way. Cause well, good luck with that. The best, yeah, the best suggestion is don't open it. Well, can you see it very well then? Oh, you can't, but it's a risk you have to take. Ooh. Too late. Right. He's out the box. Hey? He's out the box. He is out the box. No, this looks like so a, this is a bit bent here, but that must have been like that all the time. And it's quite a nice little thing, model. And it's got some nice details on it. I like the, the details in the wheels. And the little uh, door lock that they've got on the door. And it's, that's the thing about, about films and TV shows in the 80s. Not only did they make iconic TV shows, but from that spawned iconic vehicles. So you think, oh, Pontiac Trans Ams from Smoking the Bandit, or... Knight Rider, the Dodge Charger from Bullet, or generally Dukes of Hazard, or the 18 van, and of course the DeLorean. So, let me have a look. What should we do? What should we do first? The doors? I don't have a clue. Let's do let's, the doors. Let's do the window. Ah, here we go. That open. Kind of opens nice. It, it opens nicely. It's got a nice bit of action. It's not too. It's got weird glass too. It's not too tight, but it's not too loose. It's not gonna just flop down like some other models would. This steering wheel though looks quite... Um, Does it work? It's quite thin. Yeah. <gasps> it's 
So as I'm one step closer to the it helped my arm went in the way, but as I'm turning the steering wheel, the wheels are turning. Yeah, they? Yeah, well, yeah. They got the little little seat belt though, but he's in grey, so you can't really see that. That's clever. And you've got the details of the what we would call the gear stick. Uh, I think over in America they might call them a stick shift or. Maybe someone can leave a comment. Because uh, over here we mostly have cars which are manual drive. I know in America they have a lot of automatics. So you've got all the details in the centre console. I can't really... They like, even got the... Uh, whoop. I'm just going to turn it away from you briefly so I can see the... Um, the boot. No, the uh, dashboard. Yeah, they put the dials and stuff on the dashboard as well. So it does look pretty good. I'm not sure how well the camera picks it up. Does the camera pick it up all right? Just in there. Yeah. So that's that bit. Got the details on the back of the door as well. And then, um, I might need you actually. There's the bonnet. Could you open. put your finger between the windscreen? There. Yeah, but mind the windscreen wipers, eh? Good lad. Wait, Why is it open up that way? A lot of cars did that. My first car actually did that. I had a Ford Fiesta Mark II, and it always opened this way. That's weird. And then, well, it was awkward if you had to jumpstart anybody, because in my second job, one of the things we used to do was have to jumpstart people. So you'd have to line up well, and then the battery was over about here. And then you have to put your jumper cables from you to wherever cars you're jumping. Yeah, is that a bonnet or boot? It's the boot. The engine's in the back. This is a rear engine car. So I'll turn it round. There's not much detail in there. You've got the compartment there. And a little detail up around here. Which I can't see. Well, no, because you'll not be on the camera. As long as the people at home can see it, that's the main thing. Well, maybe they're not at home, maybe they're on a train right now. You know what I mean. And... Which way does it open? Which way does it open? I'm not even sure if it does. Yeah, it does open. Why is that one correct? Oh, look at that. That's pretty decent. Yeah, it opens twice. Like, you've got the, like, the louver bit on the, the back. The louver. I can't... It's, it's called some up. Apart from Maybe that. someone can leave, the, leave a comment. This little um, cover on the back, and then you've got the engine cover, and then you open that up, and you've got your engine. I can't see now, your hands in the way. Well, I can't see either, so it doesn't really make no difference. Move your hand. I'm not. I'll have to find out what details are in there in a minute. Can the camera see inside there? So if the camera gets a good shot and shows all that engine, which I can't see either, so stop moaning. I'm moaning. And then we'll try and see what's on the back. Yeah, so from what I can see, there's some detail in there. From what I can see, it's a lot of cardboard. I'm going to look at it myself so I can see what kind of details there are. Because like I said, I haven't ever actually opened this up. I can't see. Oh yeah, there's some nice details in there. I wish I could see. Oh, yeah, see? Got the engine, it says DMC. Well, that is pretty... That's better than I thought it would have been. It is pretty decent in there. I'll turn it back to the camera. And hopefully, at the same time as the camera gets back to there, you can see the, the tail lights as well, because the tail lights have got some decent bit. And normally, when you see the tail lights, there's normally on a Back to the Future model, which will always say out of time. But instead of that, the license plate on this one just says DMC. One well, original license plate. And let me have a quick look at something a second, because, like I said, I've never opened this. It may fall. So, let me. One access mirrors. Why don't you do this from the start? Well, I've only just seen that I can do this. So what I'm going to do <gasps> is hope that I can put it back together afterwards. Otherwise, you're going to be cry crying, and crying, and crying, 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 no. crying, crying, crying. Then we'll be flooded and everybody will drown. Off. There's the back to it. I think this is a pretty decent model, don't you? It has one problem. What? Wow. Well, why is the seatbelt grey as well? I don't know. Some cars do have grey grey seatbelts. And grey interior. Well, yeah. Can it be a black seatbelt? When belt? you get me the, the turntable, 
And you could show this on the turntable. Mm. I do like this. I think that's a nice bit of detail put into that, which I now can't open. Oh. Here we go. Lovely bit of detail in that engine. And I love the fact they put this cover along with this cover in there as well. I think that's really good. Like you don't always get that kind of thing in there. I think this is a really nice model. I can't believe it took me over 20 years to have a good look at it. Right, if Shocking. I put it on there, you slowly turn it on the turntable and I'll read all the bits that said on the back. Okie dokie. Now on the back of this box it says, in 1975, John Z. DeLorean founded the DeLorean Motor Company with one goal in mind, to design and build a car that would be as safe as possible, reliable. Mm. Did he do a good job? Mm, a lot of DeLorean owners will say that they're not the most reliable cars there are. Comfortable, not sure. Handle and perform well. Maybe be enormous this. fun to drive. Well, I would have thought they are. Good fun to drive. And unmistakably elegant in appearance. DeLorean, born and raised in Detroit, Michigan, Michigan, has been involved with the automobile industry all of his life. Early on in his career, he had been recruited to become the chief engineer at Pontiac. He is best known for bringing to life the GTO in 1964. DeLorean had many successful years with Pontiac and in 1969 was promoted to the position of general manager of Chevrolet. Over the next few years, he made noticeable improvements to Chevrolet's design and quality. Then in 1973, DeLorean was promoted to Vice President of General Motors America. Well, it says, sorry, General Motors American Car and Truck Divisions. He was expected to become GM's next president, but due to constant disagreements with General Motors, management they parted ways free from general motors delorean was now able to focus his attention on fulfilling his own dream of making the delorean dmc12 a reality he began by hiring the best engineers designers and construction constructing the assembly plant in northern ireland delorean planned to debut the dmc12 in 1978 but it wasn't until 1981 when the car made its US debut. The DMC-12 carried a window sticker price around £28,000. Cool. You That's wouldn't get expensive. a car for that nowadays, would you? Actually, yes you would. What am I on about? I'm a tid. <laughs> wow, and it featured me, gold wing doors. I bet though, if, if, whenever anybody talks about this kind of thing from that sort of thing, they always say about uh, like the... Um, interest rates going up so that would be worth more now than it was back then and featured gold wing doors rear mounted engine 304 grade stainless steel body panels which will never rust and an rp no prv6 engine and transmission oh, made by renault in france the interior was available in either black or gray with leather seats power windows and mirrors the window weren't much carpets ain't that little Titchy bit there. You wouldn't want that in the summer, would you? What? This little section. Oh, is that one smaller the smallest part yeah, that's is? The window. Wow, wouldn't, that seems like it could be annoying. Wouldn't even get your dog's head through that window, would you? Uh, <laughs> do, 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 do. Power windows and mirrors, air conditioning, and adjustable steering wheel. Initial sales for the DMC12 were outstanding, but by early two, 1982, sales fell dr drastically and forced DeLorean to search for more financial backing. Unable to do so, the DeLorean Motor Company Limited was put into receivership and eventually went bankrupt in 1983. The DeLorean Motor Company Limited produced approximately 8,600 DMC-12s between 1981 and 1983. Three years. I might take my time and learn how to read properly, I think. Good idea. Shut up. Get 50 bucks. 50? Yeah. That's more than I've actually read in my 40 years. Shocking, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You, for somebody as learned as me, you'd think I'd have read a lot more than that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it proves that, yeah, you should definitely read a lot more. Learn some English. Do comics count? No, they don't. Oh, well. Anyway. Read an entire novel. So what do you think of this model? Do you like it? Yes. I have one problem with it, though. What? 
Green Terrier, why isn't it the other option of black? Secondly, not bear height. Actually, I'm going to be honest, I have seen DeLoreans that people have painted. So they've painted the outside red and various other things. But one thing I personally, and other people may have seen this, but one thing I personally have never seen is a black interior on a DeLorean. I've only <gasps> ever seen grey. Maybe so I can leave the comment off why they And I have exist. seen DeLoreans in person, but I've never seen a black interior on one. So I don't know how many of those there are. So maybe somebody out there would know how many there are, but I don't, unfortunately. But anyway, if you like this video and you want to see some more of my die cast coll collection, then uh, please do subscribe to the channel. We're on a quest at the moment to get some subscribers. <laughs> we're, we're hoping by the end of the year that we might even make a hundred. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to race it. Hey. I'm going to do a race. I'm going to see which is quicker, 100 subscribers or winning 10 quid from the lottery. But you've already won 10 pound from the lottery. No, I haven't. The last thing I won on the lottery was a free lucky dip on the lottery. Shocking. So let's see what's quicker. Help us out. Race us. I'll be racing to see if I can get 10 quid off the lottery. And you uh, you subscribe and see if we can get to 100 subs. And we'll see or who gets thousand. there first. Well, that'd be nice. I'd love everybody who subbed then. I'd send them all a big kiss. Oh no. No, I won't. I'll put you off. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'll tell you what. A lot of YouTubers out there, they say if they get to a certain amount of subs, they'll they do a face, a, a, face, a face reveal. We'll do the opposite. If we get to a thousand, we'll hide our faces. Yeah, we'll hide your face. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And maybe if we get to so many subscribers, his hat may finally leave. It's only because I can't get a haircut. Because we're in lockdown. Says the person who went for an entire year with long hair. And then had a cut. Actually, that was, <laughs> that, that was true. I had long hair for two years. And then at the beginning of 2020, I decided I was fed up with long hair. I'm going to the hairdressers and I got it all cut off. And then they went in lockdown. I couldn't we have it cut about again. a year. But never mind. Things happen. But for very now, very convenient timing, though, wasn't it? If Brett lets me finish the video, it'd be great. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. He's waving. And he wants to be able to get the line I can drive. Good luck. He's going to go to the future now.